Well, hello there, and this is And I am here with a special segment called Cooking with Lexi. <laughs> if this is your first time being here, please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And to all of my new subscribers, thank you all so much for your um, joining the family. And to all of my nieces and nephews who've been with me for the long haul, thank you all so much for your continued support y'all i am in my kitchen and i am cooking <laughs> welcome back to all of my um members who were in the kitchen with me this morning as i prepared breakfast and just chitty chatted and kind of just let my head down yeah i did i, I kind of let my head down but right now um i am cooking turkey wings i have my daughter who is making broth and i decided that today i would make some chicken pot pie um to send to school with my daughter so on sundays um most of the time i am cooking um two to three different meals and then i get on the road and take my daughter back to school so, um, as you all know, I'm an ordinary old regular woman, just like all the rest of you all, with um, a life, okay? <laughs> so, um, today I decided that I would open up my kitchen and um, allow you all to see me prepare this meal. Now, this meal I found from a YouTuber by the name of Crouton Cracker Jack Pot Pie, okay? So the name of his channel is called Crouton Cracker Jack. But he has not been uploading in a long time. But, of course, I wanted to find a recipe for pot pie that was simple, that I could make really, really quick, that had some shortcuts and all of that kind of stuff. All right? So, I found one. And I found it on his channel. And we are going to enjoy being in my kitchen and just cooking and spending some time together um hopefully you can get a laugh or two um out of it because you know i gotta follow this recipe um oh okay well turn it off honey turn it up because there's ain't nothing i can do on this end <laughs> you're going to turn it off um but it um yeah so this gentleman had, uh, we, my daughter and I scoured the YouTube yesterday looking for recipes for um, this pot pie. And um, although I wanted to make all my own crust and all of that kind of stuff, um, I'm, I wasn't able to do that because of time constraints. And you know, when you have time constraints, anytime you have that, you're always looking for like little shortcuts that you can use in order to get the same thing accomplished. And so there are two shortcuts that I'm going to be using. The first shortcut that I'm going to be using, instead of making my own dough, I am using Pastry Puffs by Pepsi's Farm. I know they are not a sponsor, bitch. I don't do sponsors. But I'm making my own. And then I have cut two by using rotisserie chicken, which is the same thing that he had, um, a shortcut that he used. I uh, made a um, seasoned salt that he um, talked about. Hold on, y'all. So I'm going to be moving back and forth. Y'all going to have to be patient with me because this is live and this is the way that I wanted to do it, okay? Um, so if you hear a bunch of water and stuff like that, then excuse me because as they noticed this morning when I was preparing everything, I washed my hands all day. So over here on this countertop, and I think I'm going to have to turn on a couple of the lights, okay? But over here on this countertop here is where I have all of my spices. Well, not all of my spices because me and my daughter are spice fanatics, okay? But here I have my spices that I am going to need for this, so I wanted to make sure that I had them on hand. Let me turn on some more light. 
Okay, so that made it a little brighter. So over here I have my spices, I have my salt and my flour, I have my whole milk that he called for, I've got my chicken stock. My daughter is um, making chicken stock right now for the dog. Um, and so what she's using in her chicken stock, um, we can go over there real quick. Let's go over there and look at the stock that she has for the dog. All right, so I'm doing all kinds of jacked up stuff. So right now she's making the chicken stock for the dog. And I am going to stir it up so that you all can see it. So let me flip this camera around real quick. So what she has is red peppers, carrots, chicken skin, she has chicken skin, red peppers, this is turkey broth that is in here for the dog, and then there are chicken bones all up and through here, you all see that? She's making chicken bones, and what we do to this stock um is that we take this stock and of course you know you got to cook this for hours um you take this stock and put it on the dog's food for days when she doesn't have a big appetite okay that chicken stock will help bring back her um appetite so she has that do going um, this morning when I was out there with my members, I had put in some turkey wings. So I'm going to show that, show those turkey wings to you real quick. Um, I am browning them right now. They are almost done with the browning process. So let me see. Let's look at the chicken turkey legs. So those are coming out. Great, those are turkey wings. I'm sorry, turkey wings. Got to brown them and dry them out. And of course, my daughter has kept this turkey broth that she likes. Um, and this is Twyla looking out the window. Okay, so. This is the kind of day that I've been having all day, been cooking all day long. Sure. We are going to get back on the tripod so that we can start cooking, all right? So let me put this top back on here, right? There we go. All right, so we're back in my kitchen. We never left out. Um... And we're going to already start cooking our pot pie. And so I have over here on a laptop, I have his recipe up. And so the first thing that I have is my three cups of shredded cooked chicken, my medium rusted potato, my cubed and cooked, cubed and cooked, a stick of butter. I already have that. A half of medium onion chopped, um, a half cup of all-purpose flour. So let me get my cup. So I forgot to take my cups out. So here are my cups, my measuring cups. And got my little tablespoons and all of this. My daughter brought me this one year for Mother's Day, a porcelain set. And I absolutely love it. All right, so I have to use a whole cup of whole milk, a fourth teaspoon of black pepper. I had to use one tablespoon of seasoned sal, and I used the recipe that he provided in order to make the seasoned sal. Um, I also have thyme and all that other kind of stuff. So what we're going to do? Follow this recipe to the T, and we're going to see, bitch, if this comes out right, okay? <laughs> Let's see if this comes out right. So it says, in a large pot, over medium heat, melt the butter. Now, the butter is already pretty soft, because I took that out. I'm going to be using my copper pot, because I love cooking with pop copper. We're going to put that on our big eye, so let's move over here. 
and let's see what he says that I should have with him. Okay, so he says, in a large pot over medium high heat, melt butter, add the onions, and cook until soft and translucent about three <coughs> minutes. And then he says, add the flour, stir and cook that for about 30 seconds. So we're going to, so the recipe calls for how much flour? It called for a half a cup. So we're going to pour our flour in to our half cup, which is this one. Okay. Um, for a long time, I did not know the difference between, you know, you get a measuring cup and you think, okay, that's a half a cup. No, you got a, sorry about that, y'all. You got a dry cup and a liquid. So right now I'm going to put in a half a cup of flour. So I need a little bit more. And we're going to stick all of our butter in the pan. And we're going to melt that. As I said, I've had my butter out for a while. So I already started. So here's our half a cup of flour. We're going to put this over here, like that there. And then we're going to grab our onions, which have already been pre-cut. Excuse me, y'all. Fly. I don't have a cameraman. I wish I did have a cameraman, okay? So here's our onions that have already been pre cut. This is for the dog. And the butter. So it didn't say salted or unsalted, so I'm going to use the regular old salted butter. So I'm going to stick this over here in this pan. Nice and soft already. And we're going to melt that, as he said, over a medium heat. So I've turned that to five, to six, I'm sorry. And I'm going to now move the camera to the other side. So if y'all can be patient with me, I'm going to move all this over. No, yeah, yes, yeah. yeah. Okay, so let's move, y'all. Come on, let's move, y'all. I'm going to be doing some running back and forth, and y'all just going to have to excuse your auntie as we run back and forth, okay? So I'm going to stick that in there like that there. I'm going to turn some light back on. There we go. And... Hold on, y'all. I'm coming. Now, this is live, bitches. So, if you ain't never been on Auntie's channel, I do stuff live. You don't like all the stopping and going? I don't know what to tell you. All right. So, <laughs> so, hopefully, this will get you all closer to the pot. Okay. So, we're at the pot, and I have the melted butter. The butter is melting. And then it says, put in your damn onions. So we're going to take these onions that have already been pre-chopped. Okay, as for a medium onion, believe it or not, this is a medium onion. And we're going to scoop that in. And it says, cook it about three minutes until it's translucent. Okay, so got my head, some of my head is gone. We're going to go ahead on and cook that like that there for three minutes. Um, or he says about. Because you know when you use a recipe and everything, for me, I like to do things like strictly by the book. Um, especially when I'm insecure about trying something new. Um, I don't know about you all, but I get very, very insecure when I'm trying something new. And... So I have a tendency to make sure that, are you getting ready to walk past? No. Okay. Um, <laughs> I have a tendency to be nervous. And I don't know why, but I'm like nervous and I have a tendency to want it to be perfect. Um, I used to wrestle with the spirit of um, 
perfection and I don't anymore. I have now realized that I'm not going to be perfect and I'm not a perfect person. And it's all right not to be perfect, but still when I do, um, hey Nelly, it's still, but still when I do stuff like this, I still really want to be perfect. I mean, I want it to be right. So I'm going to cook these onions, he said, until three minutes or until they translucent. I don't know what a translucent onion looks like, but bitch, I guess we're getting ready to find out, okay? <laughs> um... But yeah, I guess that's when it looks kind of like see-through. So I have that on the medium heat like he told me to. All right. But this is just like, this is so much fun. I absolutely love cooking in my kitchen. Um, usually in the winter months, um, I would cook for families and stuff like that. Um, but I haven't done that this, this year. And I think it's probably because all the people that I used to cook for, they are in better financial positions. And so I don't even have to do that anymore. So it ain't God good on a Sunday. Okay? God is really, truly good. So, I mean, and it's good to see people prosper and be in health even as they're so prosperous. And I'm just like, oh my, they don't need me to cook anymore. But I still like to cook different things and have people over um and entertain that was the purpose of buying this big beautiful home so that i could entertain more and all that kind of stuff um yeah i like entertaining but this weekend and usually when my daughter is, is in school um don't worry about the thumbs up beatrice it's okay boo boo thank you <laughs> Hopefully people will come back and they'll be able to thumbs up and all that kind of stuff, okay? Don't worry about it, boo boo. Okay, so I see what they mean by translucent. So translucent, I guess, looks like this, y'all. So let me get one out. And this is a translucent onion. Can y'all see that? No, we can't. But now I see what they're talking about. Okay, so we're going to take your translucent back. Go ahead, Auntie, doing the translucent onions. What? Auntie, oh, like, <laughs> Auntie, you better go to hell on with your bad stuff with your translucent ass onions. Oh my God. Look at me. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to get this laptop so I can see whatever else Mr. Um, Crouton tell me to do. Okay? So he said that. Once you get your onion translucent, then what I'll need you to do is add in your flour. He said, add in your flour and cook that for another 30 seconds. So now we're going to take the, oh, look at that damn translucent. Oh, so I'm going to slowly add this in because, you know, flour cakes. So I guess this is probably going to be my, my, um, my roots. Ain't that what they call it? They call it roots or rounds or something. I think it's roots. So I'm, I, ooh, look at that thickening up like that, Auntie. <laughs> you better go to her boy. Look at that getting thick like that. Oh my God. I'm doing it. Look at that. So I guess that's like a little base. Yeah. Oh, Tookie, now, Auntie. Yeah. I think this is a crouton know how to cook, bitch. This look good enough to eat down. Okay, take this and put this on a plate, bitch. And call this onion soup play. Look at that. Bitch, you have to go. Okay, so that's 30 seconds. So I'm going to take that off the heat. What? All right, so now he said, so he said, cook that for about 30 seconds. Then he said, slowly add chicken broth while stirring. Oh, bitch, this still supposed to be on the medium heat. Okay, so he can't tell me this at the last minute. Bitch, tell me that, at the, you, you understand what I'm saying? So he said, slowly add in your chicken broth while stirring to prevent lumps. 
and then bitch add in the meat, the milk. Then he says season with the salt and the pepper and the garlic and the thyme leaves. And then stir to combine and bring that bitch to a boil. So we're going to go over him and we're going to go and get the rest of what he's telling me to get. So he said my milk, my this, bitch, he said this. Okay, so he want me to bring all this to the stove. Why he ain't say in front of the stove, bring all your sh with you. Auntie, so special to me and my cousin. Sending love. I love you, Gypsy Heart 7775. Thank you for the 4999 super chat. Okay. Thank you, boo. Okay. So now that he done told me to bring all my stuff to over here. Okay. Come on. So now what he's telling me to do is he's saying. Add the onions. I already did that. So I got that in there. Can y'all see that? It's a root. That looks good. And I know I probably pronounced it wrong. Okay. Oh, you also made one too? Thank you, boo. How much did you make? I'm sorry. I am so sorry. I'm Ronnie Omari. Okay. So now he's saying pour this stuff in here. So he says pour in the chicken broth. So the chicken broth, he asked me to put how much in it? He said two cups. So now we're going to take this specific is what I use for um, chicken broth. Unless my daughter makes some. We're going to take this chicken broth and we're going to pour this in. Oh, hold on, y'all. I'm having connectivity issues. Unfortunately, y'all won't have to be over here because I can't afford for this to be having connectivity issues. So y'all not going to be able to be close up on me like that. So we can't be having no connectivity issues when I'm live and cooking in my gas kitchen. So let's see. Okay, I got a plug over there. All right. So excuse me, y'all. We're going to make this work today. The devil is a liar. We cooking that. All right. See, that's the thing about a modern cook, a modern kitchen. Okay. You got plugs everywhere. My old house is a liar. What the hell is going on with the connectivity? All right, this is going to make me burn my damn food. All right, y'all. So hopefully we'll be able to stay here. So right now it says that they need me to get a whole cup of milk. So right now I've already put in the two, the two um cups of that. I put that in there, cups of broth. So now it's telling me to add in a cup of milk. So that's in there. Okay. Now he said, stir that. He said, stir that. So I'm going to go ahead and stir that. Oh, that looks so good. Look at that. Bitch. So I'm going to take this off the heat while I put my seasonings in. So now he's saying, put your seasoning in. So he said, use one teaspoon of your sale. And remember, I made that. So he says, one teaspoon. That's a teaspoon. So he said, put one of them in there, right? Bang, that's done. Now he's saying, add in a fourth of a teaspoon of black pepper. That's right there. So he said just a fourth, bitch. Not a lot. He said a little dab, but do your ass. 
So put that in there. Bam. So that's in there. So now he said a fourth a teaspoon of garlic powder. Okay. So I'm going to put that up in there. Okay. Yeah, it's squeezing off the side. There you go. Bam. Then he said. Seasoning, the black pepper, the garlic, and the thyme. So I got me some fresh thyme. Because you can't be cooking with no old ones, right? So I'm going to put that in there like that. Put them leaves up in there. Come on, bitch. Okay. So we're going to put that in there. He said just the leaves. So I'm gonna have to pull these stems back out. Uh, ain't nothing like some good smelling time. Mm. You know what? My daughter gonna have to, she ain't gonna die from eating a little leaf or two. Cause guess what? I ain't got time to be doing all that. There we go. Now she would, she would make it perfect, okay? She would make it perfect. But I ain't her. And this other eye, it bothered me. And then she got, oh, look at that time. Yeah, boy. I should have just went on and did it the Backstreet Boy way and went and got some thyme leaves. But you know, ain't nothing like some fresh thyme. So there you go, that's the next. So now it's a slowly add in the chicken broth. We did that. Add the milk. The Caesar sauce, the black pepper, the garlic, and the thyme. And it says stir to combine and bring it to a boil. So now we're going to take this and we're going to bring this bitch to a boil. And I'm going to tell you right now, in Auntie's kitchen, it is smelling delicious up in this. Okay? This piece is smelling Ooh, good up in here. I think I want to throw in a little bit more time. Just, just for GP. Because this time is smelling so kind of good. Oh, look at that fresh time. You know, God don't, he don't make no mistakes. You hear me? He don't make no mistakes. I love. Oh, that smells so good. We're going to put up a little bit more time in here, y'all. Yes, we are in this chicken pot pie. Look at that. Mmm. That came off perfect. Let me see if I can get one more person. My daughter got this broth in here cooking. I got these turkey legs, turkey wings in here. I'm hot as hell in here. So if I get to sweating, trust and believe I ain't on crack. I'm too fat to be on crack. But I'm telling you right now, it's hot as hell in this kitchen. All right, so what else he's going to tell me to do? Slowly add in the chicken broth while stirring. So I'm going to bring this phone over here. So y'all can see. Okay. Okay. What the? Can y'all see that boiling? Look at that. That looks delicious. D damn delicious. Oh, it's starting to thicken up. Them onions is translucent and a mofo up in this can. Ooh. All right, so I'm back. I have brought everything to a boil. And it's saying what has happened is that it was too hot. So now it's telling me to add in my potatoes. Okay, that are already here. So I'm adding in my potatoes, my chicken, 